Ronald here isn't taking any chances with his son. He has him all bundled up because he knows how quickly you can get frostbite in this weather. Ronald had it not too long ago. This is the hand that it was on. Both these fingers here were froze. But like when they start, you know, like here you can see, you know, general, you know, general whiten. Frostbite is an injury to exposed skin and tissue caused by freezing. This is an image of frostbitten fingers from the National Institutes of Health. And at Metro Health Medical Center, Dr. Charles Emmerman is expecting to see frostbite patients with tingling, painful, and numb fingers, toes, or faces this weekend. Once you start getting down to the down to the single digits, um, you can get frostbite within you know, 10, 15 minutes. But exactly how long it takes to get frostbite depends on the temperature, the wind, whether you're wet, and oftentimes how much alcohol you've had. First of all, it decreases your sensitivity to the cold, so you don't know you're getting cold. But the second is, is uh, alcohol dilates the blood vessels, mm -hmm. which means they're putting out more heat. So they feel warm, but they're losing heat quickly. You can also get hypothermia out in this weather. That's when your entire body temperature drops, especially if you're wet or stranded outdoors. And it could lead to every organ in your body shutting down. But seasoned Clevelanders say they're not concerned. Extra layers, that's the way to go. Better gloves and, you know, just try to, try to fight it out.